Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, okay, so I'm quickly making this video um, about Happy Wars and the strategy that me and my clan usually use. So, um, the first thing that I, I'm going to talk about is defense. Now, personally, I always go to dedicated people on defense. Um, I usually play defense, I, I, depending on what map it is. Um, you want a dispel cleric, preferably with you know a pretty good weapon. No, um, what do you call it? Uh, construction or anything like that. Something that can kill somebody quite easily. But you want somebody with a dispel cleric, and. A warrior or a mage on defense you definitely want that as well um, the two people on defense depending on obviously how many people you have in a team um, but what I usually do is the two-man defense now that can stop you being backdoored obviously communication is a key as well um, you definitely want to be watching your home tower your spawn tower um, so that they don't try and take that. Once they take the spawn tower, the game can be pretty hard to get back, especially if they all start spawning from that spawn tower. So yeah, you definitely want two people on defense. Now, like I said, this all depends again on um, which map it is, uh, who you're up against. Uh, but yeah, dedicated defense, no matter what. Um, if you've got all the towers, don't be tempted even if you've got all the towers, if 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 your teammates are, you know, in the same party as you, when they're telling you, okay, we're we're in, we're going to take the tower, then obviously you don't need to be there, unless you can clearly see somebody there. But um, yeah, it's tempting, I know, um, on defence. But with the recent changes, you get a lot of XP now. You get a lot of um, XP points and everything, uh, especially with the 50% bonus uh, that they've just implemented. So yeah, defense dedicated D, two players. Okay, so the next part is obviously attack. Now, attack again before, while, when you're in a lobby, always um, decide on who is doing what, who is playing defense, who is playing attack, and who is going what attack. It's no good having three or four warriors um, and then having your two people on D. You need, uh, you need a balance. Um, now, uh, Gothic Prawn, he usually plays a mage because he's got a beast mage. Um, I, at the moment, play my warrior because my weight cap, I'm only level 36 because I reset my account, which I really wish I hadn't now. Um, but yeah, so I can't equip most things. Um, so I go my warrior at the moment. Uh, attack. Basically, as soon as the game starts, if you're on attack and, and you've... you've um, You've definitely um, set out the rules of who is doing what. Uh, the first thing I would suggest you do after getting in a song or something like that, of course, is to mark everybody. Now, marking everyone is easy. You press the uh, start button. Um, start button or the back button? I can't remember. Start or back button anyway. And you can mark every single person on the opposite team very quickly. Um, now, this... Okay... It takes like 10, 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. Uh, again, this can depend on what map. If it's a small map like um, Deep Sea, then you don't need to do that really um, because the two people on D um, that you designate are going to know anyway. Um, but if it's a large map, then it's always best to mark the whole other team. Uh, definitely on that one um, but attack is basically just be aware of the map be aware of the map um, if you've got everybody marked it's pretty obvious where people are 
Um, there will be people who are going to be formidable and total assholes to kill. So either team up with a team member to take them out or support a cleric who might be trying to build a cannon. Um, warriors are usually the, the class, in my opinion, that take one for the team. You know, your your job isn't to die, but it's, it is to um, at least give some support. Basically go up there and give you know some attacking support and if you have to die you have to die which is always why it's best to have a respawn five at least on a warrior um so you can get back in the battle straight away um but yeah as far as attacking go uh what i like to do is get their home tower first and stay at the home tower if you stay at the home tower you are pretty much guaranteed that they will come to you you don't need to go to them they will come to you to try and take their home tower back which is quite funny especially if you've got um some other good players that are uh coming for you and you know them because happy wars if you play a lot you bump into the same people quite a lot um so yeah that's basically attack Okay, so strategy. Now, strategy for me is pretty much communication and a mix of the two things that I've mentioned so far, defense and attack. Um, so, you know, there's not really much to be said about that. Um, strategy is strategy. If you can get a cleric that's got, um, I've forgotten what it is now teleport that's it yeah if you've got a cleric that's, that can have uh, that's got a um, teleport on a, on one of his uh, buffs uh, sorry as a buff designated buff then that can be quite helpful um, yeah so that's pretty much that Okay, and finally, um, team skills. Now, in the heat of the moment, in the heat of battle, um, team skills can be very easily overlooked. Um, the Japanese players, they, they work so well as a team um, because they communicate, excuse me, and they use a lot of team skills, quite, quite simply. They use a lot of team skills. Um, team skill over and over and over obviously if, if you if you can see they've just um, they've just pulled off a, a meteor storm then you know if you go running anywhere near that within a distance um, especially if they've got parameter boost now um, then they you know you're going to die so you have to back off giving the team the chance to run forward and perform another team skill and push you back and back and back and back um, pulling off team skills obviously um, again takes communication because you need your teammates to be there to get in them so it's always a good job to tell your team that you're going to pull this off and the thing okay don't shout out meet your storm meet your storm the amount of times I've heard someone say oh Tornado, tornado, meteor storm. Yeah, well, where? It's no good just shouting it out. You need to say, okay, um, and if you're going to pull it off, then try to pull it off somewhere, um, a, a landmark or, 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 or somewhere where it's noticeable, where everyone can quickly think, yeah, okay, I know where that is. Um, like, say, near a tower or, uh, I don't know, the, the ballistas near the bridge, like on the snowman level or something like that. Um, then generally somebody will know that it's on the right or the left hand side um, yeah I mean I mean my clan the gothics we win 99% of our games um, the only time that we lose is if I don't know if it's there's just two of us playing and the rest of them are randoms and I can guarantee you that me and whoever I play with in my clan have got 
we've we're doing like ninety five percent of the job, like defense or attack or whatever, doing some strategic things like taking out a bridge, um, and again team skills. Uh, so yeah, or, or if it's lag, like the Mexican mafia, uh, Mexico mafia and his lag squad and all those ass wipes. You know they don't even they don't need to cheat because they just lag their way to a win. Just lag the gate down. Um, you know, get five or six people chasing after one person, and because they lag, they can't thingy. Anyway, I'm not going into that because that just <laughs> pisses me off. But um, yeah, so team skills are essential as well. Now, if you've got any questions, um, leave me a message. And if you, um, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, I know I haven't recorded anything about this video, um, but I might because this is recorded and saved on my computer obviously i might um, edit some of this and put a bit of footage in but if you want to see the kind of gameplay and communication that we do then just view my profile um on my playlist on my youtube channel i have quite a lot of happy wars videos so if you like them um then you know subscribe give a like and uh yeah thanks for watching um, hope this was helpful, but it's basically it's not about um, what equipment you've got. It's about communication. Uh, you know, if if you've got teammates and everyone's talking over each other or no one's saying anything, then you need to think about playing with other people. If you're serious about winning, if you're uh, competitive like I am. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching and. Uh, got any questions like I said um, major questions then just watch my videos cheers